over time, the mark of a great real estate investor in which you clearly are part of that have that mindset. You invest over time. Really, you control your own economy. You, Julie, you and individuals like you, successful investors, long-term investors mm -hmm. like you, control your personal economy. Right. Right. You and I and no one out there can control the what's going on in a general economy. With that in mind, I want to have your view once again. What, what I mean by that, what is most people doing wrong with respect to the personal economy and the journal economy, which we can oh, What's I going on people, out I there? Think, I think people listen to the news too much and they get frightened. Well, the market, the market is down. Oh, there's going to be a crash. Oh, there's going to be a... People listen too much to what's going on in the world. I was thinking as you were talking, I think people need to dream big because I never thought that I would own six properties in another state. I never thought I'd own property in another state, let alone six properties in another state. Yep. I think they'll never believe that you can't because the minute you say you can, God is going to bring somebody or the universe or whatever you want to call it, is going to bring someone to you to show you that you can. And I really believe that God brought you to us. When we were at a point where we were ready to do this, God brought you to us. So I think you dream big. You know what your goals are because everybody's goals are different. We were very clear. We wanted cash flow. My husband's not going to work forever. So we wanted to make sure when he retires, we are we can supplement that income uh, with the rental property. And so we weren't trying to buy and flip and hold and wholesale and all this other 19,000 things that are out there to do with real estate. Know what your goal is. If you just want to buy a property to say you have one and that's your goal, that's great. If you want to own 20 properties and that's your goal, that's great. But I think the important thing is know what your goal is. And I think a lot of times that's why people don't move. They don't know what their goal is. They don't know what the destination is. So they're afraid to pull the trigger because they don't know. What, they don't have a, a clear vision on what they want to get to the other side. And I think my husband and I were very clear. We need a cash flow. Didn't know you could invest in New York. Didn't know we could invest in any other, the 49 other states. So that was revelation for us. And when we found a market that worked for us, we just went for it and we pulled the trigger. That's just it. You just got to do it. Yeah. Yeah. You the Nike commercial. Isn't that a Nike shirt you got on right there? Just do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Your six property portfolio, you have achieved in such a short period of time. I know you guys are very ambitious. You and Mark, you're going to do more. You're going to buy more in next few, more rentals in the next few years and you continue to do so based on your financial capacity and why have you. But even if you do nothing, even if you just have these six properties, let me numerically project what could happen, okay? In my mm -hmm. mind, let me, let me do my brain calculation. Your six properties, if each of your properties, you're getting, let's say, $300 monthly in net cash flow. Right. Also, right now, if you're going to retire with cash flow, $300 multiplied by six properties, mm -hmm. around $1,800 mm -hmm. of money. Monthly net positive income. Now, to some people, that may not be all that much. Yeah, two grand per month. You know what? The two grand per month is better than not having the two grand That's per month it. passive and income. That's exactly no. right. And it doesn't, it doesn't cost us anything because the tenant is paying the mortgage. <laughs> Absolutely. Again, I, I, let me further be, uh, prove my point that two grand, hey, that two grand is worth something. We put it on the table. You know, Paying for some of your uh, a weekly vacation or, right. or to address right. any kind of emerg emergency you may have, right. right? So you will supplement your other retirement portfolio. You're not going right. to, Mark is not going to quit his full-time job. Some people, some other real estate rules, they say, oh, you can replace your active income with passive income within a few years. No, right. it's not that it's simple. Not it's not going to happen, yeah. It, you know, all these alleged realistic gurus out there, not me, right? They <laughs> over promise and under deliver. Okay, if you use my right, right. coaching system, I will guarantee you in about a couple of years, if you buy X, uh, three or four rental properties, that path of income, can, you can quit your job right away. Today, it ain't happening. Yeah. Let me make that clear. Cash flow mm -hmm. is impacted based on, you know, Absolutely. So, yeah, cash flow is not that, not as great as years ago, not mm -hmm. years ago, like seven, eight, nine years ago. This is right. a different housing market. 
um, so what I'm trying to say is, you know, if if you're going to retire in five years from now, for example, mm -hmm. five, five years from now, you're going to expect your rent to go up three to five percent mm -hmm. per year, mm -hmm. and then your your tenants going to continue to pay down your yes. mortgage. Absolutely. So you know what happened when you're and you, and then if you expect three three to five percent appreciation potential every year, see, look at my fingers. Your value yes. of a house goes up. Yeah. Okay. Your rent gonna go up. Yep. Your your debt payment is I'm coming down. down. And then you more and more you're gonna your LTV, your loan to value right. is getting greater and greater. Right. So you have mm -hmm. more equity. Your equity, you gain more equity by appreciation. You gain passive income by increasing your rent over time, right. and you reduce your debt to a manageable level. In about five right. more years, your thirty-year mortgage rate will come down to thirty to forty percent more. Yeah, the tenant is paying that down. And, and then the thing is this: once you get it paid off, because our goal is to pay it off in way less than thirty years. But once you get it paid off, just think of it from the aspect of if you have six properties and they're paying you at this point now that long gone a thousand dollars a piece, that's six thousand dollars you have coming in in cash. That is life changing money for a lot of people. But like you said, you have your other resources, your investments, your uh, retirement, social security, whatever else you have coming in. That's life changing money for people. But and then you still own the property. Yeah. Worst case scenario. You could find yourself in a situation where you need cash, sell one of the properties. Maybe you get to go into a nursing home. Maybe there's a, I'm just thinking long term. But yeah, you always have the property. You always have the property. Yep. Let, let me give you one, one more concept to prove your point, which you just said. Now, earlier I'm, I mentioned the date the interest rate, marry the house. Right. Now, when the, let's say your interest rate right now is 7.5%. As an inverse interest rate, you just bought the rental property. Right now, for example, mm -hmm. you're dating the interest rate, but you marry the house. Then, if and when the next few years, we don't know right. when the mortgage rate will come down to 6%, maybe 5.5%, guess what? You can refinance the uh, uh, loan to whatever rate it is in the future. Guess right. what? You have more cash flow because your payment is, is lower. And you furthermore, go. you're no longer dating the interest rate. You could potentially marry the interest rate. There you go. So, so exactly. you can, yeah, you can change your narrative a few years mm -hmm. from now. And those investors, you better listen. You better listen to what I'm just saying. Yes. In the future, no more dating. You can right. marry the house, okay. marry your spouse. You can marry your partner. You can there you go. <laughs> forever until right. life do it, do, do us apart. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I think that's a great way to look at that. That's a really. Mm -hmm. If I think, and I think in any situation, because I look at it as a business. Mm -hmm. If you have a business, you're in business for the long haul. Nobody starts, I don't know, maybe people do now, but nobody starts a business to sell it in two years and be like, okay, I'm rich. You know, like my parents owned a business. They owned it for 40 years. So, yeah, I see this as a long-term business. And God willing, if I live another 40 years, it's a long-term business investment. Oh, I have another thought. I'm glad you, you said that. Okay, let me put it in another way. What you, what you just said, let me put it in another way. I track my investors over the past 20 years. Initially, my investors have money, right? They, mm -hmm. They're many of the engineers or doctors in right. Silicon Valley. Most of my database are located there because that's where I live uh, mm -hmm. for the past 30 years. And many of my investors well, within my network have... Uh, very well versed financially, mm -hmm. okay, and and they they uh, in, like I said, software engineer and the whole nine yards, Silicon Valley for God's sake, that's right. where I live. So they have the money to buy. They have the money to buy. They put twenty five percent down payment, which is fine. What I noticed over time, have just because someone qualified to buy a house and they bought one or two rental properties, you know what happened more often than not, as I track the progress of my investors. Hmm. You know what I found? You know what I found out based on my research so far? What's that? A lot of them, they're no longer active, meaning they are no longer risk investor. After two or three properties, they quit. Wow. They exited the real estate business. Let me tell you why. 
let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Okay. They do not have the ability to, uh, to stand the pain over time. Mm, okay. They, they are not in the business. Like you and I just described. Okay. okay. You think, oh, you buy rental property using a turnkey approach that, that we promote. And that's it. You're totally 100% passive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our concept that I teach the turnkey system, you could make the point that it is 100% passive, almost. Mm-hmm. But not really. But not really. Mm-hmm. Because those investors, they bought few properties and they don't buy anymore or they sell the properties. Right. What, I, what I learned from time to time, when I get the feedback from my investors, what I found out that they couldn't take it. They couldn't take the couple of months of vacancy. They couldn't take dealing with the tenant. Right, they, right, they, right, Even right. though they were not managing the property, even though property right. managers doing all that and the property managers have done a good job. Right. All these issues, like maintenance issues, vacancy issues, these investors, they, right. they don't know how to be, be, uh, become a business owner. They mm-hmm. think everything is passive. They cannot right. deal with the stress, with the issues that comes up as a landlord. Right. And they think the business. Point. That's a really good point. And I think you pointed that out early on in our journey. There's a difference between a landlord and an investor. And, and you called that out. And it's like an investor, you are investing and then you allow someone else to manage that. And I can liken it to investing in a mutual fund. I'm not calling the mutual fund lender every day or the mutual fund manager every day to find out, are you going to invest in this or buy that or change this manager or whatever? I make the best decision with the information I have and I allow them to do the work. It's the same thing with the turnkey investment. You make the best decision based on the information that you have and then you allow them to manage it. And, And see what that does, that frees up my mind to find the next property. I'm not worried about, oh, did is the apartment clean or, or did they get the refund back or what? I'm not worried about any of that stuff because that's why I have property manager. So my mind is free to be looking for the next transactor, the looking for the next house. I don't worry about it. We've got a great team in Buffalo, yeah. New York. Excellent team. And we are, I trust them. I trust them. They are solid and they will do what I need them to do. So if I get a piece of paper in the mail, I just, Scan it to them, they handle it. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's really a seamless process. But yeah, but it's changing your mindset, the investor versus landlord. And I think that's where a lot of people get caught up in the minor details. That's why you have a, a property manager to deal with those minor details. Yes. Julie, the, uh, to add to your point, uh, the most difficult years of an investor long term is the first few years. The first few <laughs> years, you have not seen enough cash flow. You may right. not see enough appreciation or you have some issues. And a lot of people become impatient. They think, oh, three to four years into it, oh, I'm not seeing the significant gains that I expect. And they get stressed out. They get disappointed. They have a negative mindset. And right. they need to say, oh, I'm not going to buy anymore. The three properties that I bought, you know what? I can't take the headache. I'm going to sell it. And they never invest again. See, right. they have a negative mindset. They have not trained themselves to become a business owner. And they, that's it. And see, that's, what, that's how I think of this as a business. Because don't they say most businesses don't turn a profit from three to five years? Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you're looking at it for the short term or we had like one of our properties, we had a repair on it. And it's, okay, that's today. We probably won't have to have that in another 20 years or whatever. But... Some people would have gotten thrown off by that. And I just think, like, that's the cost of doing business. Just like any other business that mm-hmm. you run, maybe because I grew up under a business owner. I just understand things happen. Nothing runs like smooth, seamless. I mean, it is a relatively seamless process. I will say that. And once you learn how to be the first one, the second, third, fourth, and fifth come much easier. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing that's perfect. But just be aware of that. Just like if you were starting any other business. I don't care if it's, Mm-hmm. Selling Amway or whatever, you're gonna yeah, right up that are gonna be a problem that you couldn't anticipate or whatever. And I will say this, and this is a big plug for hiring a mentor. 
we, I might sound really experienced, but we didn't know anything two years ago, two and a half years ago. We didn't know anything about anything. And I'm telling you, Searing, just meeting you at the time that we did, you came along right on time. You taught us everything. We were able to put together our goals based on the information. And for whatever we paid you, we made it back on the first deal. I think people get hung up on the money. And I'm telling you, I've heard people, I've known people that have spent four times what we paid you. Yep. Because I thought, man, if I had that kind of money, I'd just go out and buy another property. But they'll pay it to a guru. <laughs> And they get no help and no attention. They might get help for like the first three weeks and then you never right. hear from them again. Exactly. <laughs> and I mean, here we've been in this for two and a half years now and we have an ongoing relationship. I can call you anytime and ask you about something or text you and you respond very quickly. And that was important to me. Whatever I paid, it was important that I get the response that you promised mm -hmm. and you did actually you went above and beyond because i know that first transaction i was a little scared i'm a numbers person now all the numbers lined up but i was scared to like sign on the dotted line and you're just like pull the trigger and i'm like okay it's like you got you get into it like before you realize and it reminds me of a saying my husband used to work for this guy out at the airport and he would say jump and grow your wings on the way down and that's what you were saying like just jump just do it and you know what? Figure out how to get there when you're going down. Like little baby, like the baby eagle when the mama drops him, he's got to learn how to fly. So it was like that. But you were, you held on to us a lot longer than the mama eagle. Oh, so no. I just would say there is value in what you do. Like I said, we would have never thought about investing in New York. I've never even been to New York. But with the information that you provided, I felt like I have because in talking with the team out there and Google Maps is a wonderful thing. I learned the neighborhoods really quickly with Google Maps. It was great. It was a win. And so we have not been sorry with any of the properties that we bought. Um, and like I said, we're looking forward to doing more. If not in New York, we're in the South area like Alabama, Tennessee. We're really looking to try to get down there. Yeah. It's, it's been a great journey. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. Your journey continues, right? It's a, it's a, it's, that's the fun of it. The, your ultimate destination, whenever that is in the future, but right. it, I could see your, your journey uh, <laughs> day to day, week to week over the past few years working together. And right. it, it just, it makes me feel I have a calling, a calling to help people. You do. Uh, if I could change one life at a time, uh, mm -hmm. that, that'll, as a legacy, it'll cement my legacy. Mm -hmm moving forward because I'm in a people business. I love uh, people to change their financial tra trajectory for the better yeah. because if I can help you change your financial tra trajectory, it's a generational. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I just think it, it just, like I said, the, it was educate. It was money well spent because it was education, not just information. It was education. It's ongoing and it's produced results that we're even if we never got anything else this was way beyond what we thought we could do mm -hmm. so we're just really happy with you happy with the properties that we have happy with the team we're working with and just really looking forward to expanding our territory and, and getting more absolutely we thank you again you are you once again as i said before you're the poster child for the year listen network <laughs> thank you <laughs> we can't wait to to uh, continue down the path of of this journey and thank you for your kind mm -hmm. words and yeah anyway so I think uh, I think we're almost out of time I would love to talk more and we can talk okay. we will talk more uh, in a similar format next time next club meeting two weeks from now okay. uh, any uh, before we go before you have one uh, last uh, word <laughs> to the people out you there I mean. <laughs> I do. like I tell people all the time like, like the Nike like you got your shirt Nike just do it yeah, yeah, that's right. Don't I didn't wait. <laughs> I, I didn't realize I wore this. But, it's not, I, <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's like, just do it. Don't wait another year. Because even like, like our properties have grown in value in the last couple of years. I'm noticing the Alabama, Tennessee area, they're creeping up. And I'm thinking, oh, I wish we would have had been in a position to do it then. But I don't think there's any ever a bad time. I think whenever the time, whenever you have the money and your position to do it, just do it.
Just yep. do it. Just do it. It's not impossible. It doesn't take a lot of money. Like you were saying, 20, 25 percent down. Do the math. If the property is only 50, 60,000, that's not a lot of money. That's so right. take advantage of it. Do it. It will work for you. And just don't stop. If that's your goal, just don't stop. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Very inspirational. Thank you for sharing your time and your wisdom. Thank you. Uh, and, and Thank you for uh, your time. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you so much, Julie. And uh, with that said, uh, thanks for everybody for watching. This is Sea Wing Yi. And, and I'll see you next time. I'll see you guys on the other side. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're hiring going higher. It does start. Okay, exactly. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.